Good morning. Um, I'm starting to do some paracord projects. Oh, this one's kind of perfect, by the way. And I'm going to do some paracord projects, but I'm having trouble getting uh, the paracord back under the weave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some paracord needles that are going to fit on the end of paracord. Um, I guess they're called FIDs, I guess. I'll put a link to, to the spelling of that. I think it's F-I-D-S, I'm not sure, but basically they're paracord needles. And I went down and bought, I bought these at Lowe's the other day, or maybe it was Home Depot. I think it was Lowe's. But they're two inch uh, um, binding posts with a screw. Now I got these, they're about a quarter inch uh, wide, or a quarter inch, um, yeah, a quarter inch. So if you look here, we'll be able to just uh, take the paracord once it gets done and screw it in the threads there. So let me go ahead and I'm going to cut the tip off this, and then I'm going to sharpen it. So let me go ahead and cut that. I'm just going to use a, a simple hacksaw. Let me zoom out here. A simple hacksaw. In a vise. Now I could use a Dremel or anything else. I just want to cut it off right near the edge here, right at the tip, so I can sharpen it. So let me get that cut off, and we'll continue to the next step. Right back. Okay. Now we need to put a point on this, to make it into a needle. As I believe you can see, yes, As you can see it's uh, hollowed out in there and still tapped from where the screw goes. Where you just screw. So now we need to grind this into a point. Now, the way I found to do it is to, to you know, use a file. But what I'm going to do today, because I'm, I don't know, lazy, so I'm going to wrap electrical tape around the base of this. I'm going to stick it in the drill here and use the drill to sharpen up to whatever I feel I need. So let me go ahead and do all that. And I'll wrap, like I said, I'm going to wrap the, the base around this because you want these aluminum, oops, sorry. You want these aluminum needles soft so they don't uh, snag your paracord. But I'm going to put it in here to protect, the, protect the, uh, the metal and keep it smooth. So I'll be right back once I get that part done. Alright. Okay, so this is done. And um, like I said, I just used a file for it. We're going to pull that out. Okay. We're going to take that tape off. Ah, it's kind of gooey. And it's all nice and smooth. Hope you can see that. You zoom in. Pretty smooth. Smooth enough. If it's smooth to the touch, there's no uh, grips on there. No bites. Then, we're going to take... <clears throat> and if this isn't smooth enough already, you can just reheat it and you know taper it a little bit, but it will screw in there. Just push and twist, push and twist, push and twist, push and twist. And it's in there really tight. In fact, I show you. I guess I can't show you. Too bad. So as you can see it's in there tight enough. Alright, well, that's how I make, as of right now, paracord needles. That way we can take and do our stuff. So if I had a tight weave, such as this dog thing, and I had to get in there, I could, if I could push it in. That's a real tight weave. But do it like that. Get your nose out of there. You're so helpful. Well, I can't put this down now, so I guess we're done. All right, well, that's how you make a paracord needle, or a fit, I guess, for weaving your paracord product. It'll get you underneath the, the weed really good. So there you go. Um, everybody, please rate, subscribe. Please have a great day. And this is Miss Dan Prepper. If you have ideas that I didn't, please let me know and we'll see if we can get a video done on it. Have a great day, thanks.